Welcome back to PlayStation Week on Brett's Play. Ah, uh, the best week. <laughs> I'm really thinking we'll do that because Michael wanted to do some PlayStation playthroughs as well. And, yeah. like, now I've got my PSX out, so. There you go. Anyway, uh, we're playing Evil Dead Hail to the King for the PlayStation, also available on the Dreamcast. Something I've always wanted but never got. All right. Um, when I first got this game, <laughs> I thought it was broken because, like, the cutscene that's about to start, like, it would just go, am I... And then it would like, like window uh, wipe out, and then I would go to the level the um. Cause like it would do this, it does that wipe there. I just press start to make that happen. Yeah. But anyway, the opening cutscene would come on, and it would go, "Am I?" It's, and then it would go out like that, <laughs> and then we would get to the menu. Yeah, apparently it actually is. Am I insane? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm crazy, but um, anyway. Huh. Um, I found out my controller was broken, and it just kept pressing start. <laughs> or maybe it was select, because it wouldn't start the game when it got to the menu. But anyway, the story of this game That's pretty funny. is um, it's after Army of Darkness. Okay. And they decided to just fucking do it again for some reason. You know, sort of like in all the other movies, when yeah. like his girlfriend, DuJour, who is also named Linda somehow, um, <laughs> is like, you need to go back to that cabin and confront your fears. Damn it, Ash, stop listening to women. <laughs> like his biggest weakness <laughs> what do you think about it wrong. oh my god that's ash's biggest weakness is women because like it's always it's always a girl who's like no do this and then it fucks everything up for ash yeah have fun wow. exploding tumblr my god but i oh my it went bad speaking of it went bad connor yeah my armpits what what's they, they smell like Burger King. Can I go use some of your deodorant? Uh yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. So oh, I'll man. be back before cutscenes over. Okay. You know what's funny? What's funny? That's a really accurate comparison. <laughs> your armpits smell like Burger King. Yes, like like if you ever <laughs> you ever had BO and just like, man, I'm really I'm really craving a stacker. <laughs> B.O. smells like Burger King, and yet for some reason... Jessica Alba! <laughs> what? Actually, her name isn't Linda in this one. I think it is Jenny. Okay, are you ready for pre-rendered 1997-era goodness? I'm very, very prepared. Now, see, I haven't played this one. I thought I did, but I played Fistful of Boomstick. I did not like A Fistful of Boomstick. Did you like A Fistful of Boomstick? To be quite honest with you i don't really remember that much of it i just know that i played it i just like there was no conveyance in that game telling you what the hell to do and so like i would get stuck on levels and just be like eh, I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and um <laughs> the only thing i remember really distinctly about that game is ash's butt animation when he would run <laughs> i remember that and like how like his bell bottoms just looked like he had giant transformer legs yeah you ever notice transformers have larger calves than they do thighs and larger forearms than they do upper arms i have noticed that well anyway that's what ash had going on in the uh let's go. in that one <laughs> let's go let's go <laughs> <laughs> um <coughs> but anyway um i did not like a fistful of boomstick but the one that came after it, Regeneration, was excellent. There was another one? Yeah, Evil Dead Regeneration. He had this um, he had this little like midget undead sidekick named Sam, who was voiced by Ted Raimi. And like, <laughs> you, when you think about it, like if you've played um, if you've played a uh, lollipop chainsaw, right? And like you have your boyfriend's head, and you can like kick it at stuff like that. Oh, so, I, so I think that it, kind of it works a little bit like that. Huh. I mean, but, you know, he can, like, get into tighter spaces, and you can switch from controlling one to the other. But the story was really good. I don't remember it at all, so it warrants another playthrough. But I liked this one. I did not like Fistful of Boomstick, and I did like um, Regeneration, which was probably the best one. Also, this one time, I got on an emulator, mm -hmm. and I played Evil Dead for the Commodore 64. How did that one play out? It's good. <laughs> it's a top-down view of the cabin, and you're Ash, of course. And, like, all the windows and doors show up, and you have to keep them closed so deadites don't get in. Right. So you're basically just running around, closing the doors, and making sure enemies don't get in, and then killing them when they do until you get overwhelmed and eventually lose. But hmm. it was a really good game, actually. But you've never played this one? I've never, I've never played this one. No. It's a total Resident Evil ripoff. 
I like that immediately. I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for you. Lucky I'm a Resident for Evil. you. <laughs> okay, so here's like your your thing, your inventory. Oh. Uh, does this look like Resident Evil? Yeah, um, it sure does. There's also a chest, like. There's chests where you can keep stuff you can't carry with you. Ah, uh, the there's item a, box. There's a sparkly thing <laughs> that you can pick up. Wow, that's really Resident Evil. There's uh -huh. a save tape. So there's your ink ribbons. <laughs> yep. But what's cool about it is that it's, you know, Evil Dead related, and therefore I like it. I ah, vomit it all over me. It's got tank controls just like Resident Evil. That's fantastic. Bam! You actually have to conserve gas. Uh, you can, there's a run. How do I run? Oh, there's a there's a one-liner button. Oh, <laughs> oh, a button specifically for one-liner. You know what's really cool about it is it actually serves a purpose. <laughs> when you're overwhelmed by deadites, um, you can use it, and one of them will run away. That is hilarious. Oh my god. You got to turn your uh, chainsaw on and off to conserve gas. Um, helps here. That is great. But it's very much like Resident Evil. Now. For everybody watching, and possibly also for you, because I don't know if you've ever seen it or know this about me, um, you gotta collect all these Necronomicon pages. Um, anyway, but I've never really played the first Resident Evil. I think you, I'm pretty sure you've told me that. The before. Resident Evil gameplay just really turns me off, cause like I just want to kill things. Right. But Resident Evil's like, no, don't kill them. That'll waste bullets and time and health and. You need all that stuff because, you know, it's a survival horror. I prefer action games, just to be totally So, honest. you would probably enjoy Resident Evil 6 a lot more than I did. Well, I loved Resident Evil 4. Um, I want to play 5, but I can never find somebody to, like, you know, play with me who hasn't played it before. Oh. So, everybody's always, like, wanting to use their new game plus stuff. Well, I mean, you know, I've, I've played it and I've beat it with a couple of people. Yeah. Several different times, but I don't... I'm not too fussed about using the standard weapons. I, like I generally the, prefer doing that anyway. I like the call your partner button. Sheba, 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 Sheba. <laughs> Chris, come punch this boulder. <laughs> Does she say that? No. <laughs> that would be really funny. If but she that did. would be great. How do I run? I forget. Oh wait, it's a shoulder button. That's it. Yeah, here we go. Do 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 do. Just running around, picking up some shrooms and things. <laughs> what do I got here? Uh, I got a shovel. A shovel, eh? Oh, there's uh, there's Linda from the yeah, second yeah, movie. Yeah, big up Linda. Oh no, from the first movie. Well, she happens in the second movie too, but she dies in this like she does in the movie. So you see her jump off and go. Whoa! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's good. And these um, what was that a red mushroom I just picked up? I'm not sure. I think uh, whatever it was, it was a gas can. Oh, cool. that's cool. Large gas can. I'm gonna go out here to the uh, work shed. Which you can't go this way, apparently. Get out of my way, you ass. <laughs> Did I ever tell you I met Bruce Campbell? Mm, you might have, but I don't remember. Well, he was he was super cool. He was signing his book, um, Make Love the Bruce Campbell Way. <laughs> yeah. Which everybody at school thought was a self-help book and kind of avoided me <laughs> while I was carrying it around. Okay, so that's a bit of an exaggeration. It was funny. Um, I, I did take the jacket off of it, so that wouldn't happen. Yeah. But um, anyway, it was a good book. It's a fictional book because, like, his first one, A Chins Could Kill, was an autobiography. Right. And he wanted to write another memoir, and his publisher was like, yeah, you haven't done enough. <laughs> yeah, you haven't done enough. Since the last one. <laughs> so he, he, wrote, um, he wrote this fictional book um, called A Chins Could uh, – sorry, called Make Love the Bruce Campbell Way, which was hilarious. And he was coming around signing it. He was in Atlanta at the uh, Midtown Arts Cinema. Watch. See, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> that is the funniest thing. It's pretty oh my great. God. Also, there are items everywhere. Yeah, that that's one way this is not like Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's your item box. Yep. I think that oh. you have to be at the item box to use the save tapes. I was waiting to see if they would, uh, <laughs> if they would have the safe room music. Uh, no, no safe room music. But every time you walk into one of these, it goes, wow! <laughs> like one of those, you know, guys that keeps trying to kill me. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And uh, we'll pick this up on the next episode of Brett's Play.